guys, welcome back to the channel. So for our next installation video, we are going to be installing a full set of Ricochet skid plates. And we will be also installing the Polaris low profile skip uh, rock sliders. So I'll take you over to the machine and I'll show you about the skid plates and also the trail armor A-arm guards that we're going to install. So here's the machine. We have a 2021 Polaris Razor Trail S1000. It's a premium edition. If you've seen our other installation videos, we installed a bunch of other parts. But this is what we're going to install this time. So we got a four piece plastic um, skid plate set up from Ricochet. We originally were going to go with trail armor. Um, but then we found out that for the trail armor skid plates, you would have to drill holes into the edge right along here into the free for it to mount. So we didn't want to do that. And we also got the trail armor AM guards. So it was a full set that we got. Um, but like I said, since we realized we had to drill holes, we didn't want that. We went back, ordered the ricochet skid plate. The only thing, Ricochet does not have the plastic versions of the AM guards. So we're going to use trail ar armor AM guards, but the Ricochet skid plates. So the four piece set, you get the two middle pieces, the front and the back. And then you get all the hardware that you possibly need. So there's some brackets in here. There's some cup links that will go around the frame that you would bolt on. So that's what we're gonna get ready to install. We got the pit open. So pretty much Sterling's gonna get down there. We're gonna take off the stock skid plate and we'll bring you back for that. Okay. Okay guys, so we got Sterling on the side by side, removing the stock skid plates. There's what three parts uh, for the the factory one there's uh just uh yeah this part here where is that part I put it over there oh uh, that, that's the there's only two parts so the stock skid plates are only two parts that are gonna come down so we already got the front off. Is the front off or the back? No, the, the, the back's off. Okay, um, so we already took the back off, which will be back there. And now we're taking off the middle front area. So we're going to get this off, and then we'll bring it back to what it looks like. So this is the underneath. That's the front. This is the middle section. And then this is the rear. That's the rear section. Okay, so the first plate that we got to put on would be that plate there. It's the front plate. Uh, the front main skid plate. It's 793M1U. And Ricochet does a good job because they package all the, the bolts and hangers and nuts and all that in the this package here is all for that one uh skid plate so the package is even labeled 793 m1u so they label all the packages there's another package for another plate 793 m2u and then another pack for another plate 907 ru 
and then another pack, 793TU, for another plate. So they do a really nice job of sorting out the nuts and bolts and hangers for you already. So now we're going to start to get this uh, first main front skid plate installed. We'll be back. Okay, so this is the first plate. Now, they say to put the bolts at the ends, but these bolts here that go with the hangers and the plates, they're bare to get in. You have to try and reach your hand up in there, put the plate in, put the hangers in, and the floorboard plastic is right there, so it's a hard squeeze. The hangers just barely get in. But it takes a little while to get those bolted in place. But all these other hangers are easy to, to get. So now we're going to put this middle plate in. We'll be back. Okay, so we finally got those bolts in. This bolt here and this bolt here, that bolt there, and this bolt here is a pain in the butt to get in. The gas tank sits so low to the frame, it's hard to get that uh, bracket in. But we managed to get it in. And then, this bracket right there, that hanger, that's a pain to get in because of the water pump hose is so close to the frame, it's hard to get that in. But now we got all the bolts in for uh, the middle skid plate. Now we're going to work on the back skid plate. And that one should be easy. It's a short, small piece. So we'll be back after that. Alright, so we finally got the the end skid plate on. So now the end is all done. And I also have the end skid plate all tightened down. So now we're going to work on the very front skid plate here. And then all the skid plates are, in, are attached. And all I have to do is tighten all the bolts up. So after we get this front piece installed, we'll be back. Okay, now we got the front skid plates on. All installed. Had to even put longer bolts in the very front skid plate here because the other ones were too short so now we're going to work on the uh, A-arm guards front and the back and the back ones I may have to uh, drill this guard take this guard off so I'll have to drill out the popper bits to put the back A arms on. So we'll be back. Okay guys so the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna install the A arm guards. Um, like I said our we we're gonna go with trail armor skid plates but then realized we had to drill holes in the frame which we wanted didn't want to do so we went back to ricochet for the skid plate but um ricochet doesn't make plastic am guards they only make aluminum so we kept the trail armor am guards so here's the two front and then there's the two back comes with brackets i believe or something like this and then it comes with the instructions and all the bolts. So we're going to get the machine ready to install these. We'll probably work on the fronts first. Um, we might have to trim some of this 
I know when we did um, bootleggers, our 2016 Razor Trail 50 inch, we have ricochet, skid plates, but trail armor, am guards, we actually had to cut this part off so it would fit because it would interfere with the skid plates. So we're going to get the machine ready and we'll be back. Okay, so I got the trail armor A-arms on. This is what they basically look like. And... Right down... Where my finger is here. <clears throat> it gets kind of close to the ricochet. Uh, main skid plates and when the A arm goes up and down it may rub that main skid plate uh, it kind of looks like it may just happen to sneak by and clear so I'm going to try it out and if I see that it is rubbing I'll have to take them back off and uh, trim them up and that's what I did to uh, mine on the razor trail is I had to trim them because they rubbed the skid plates on the razor trail so uh, bracket here to attach the, the A arm and then uh, just bolts and nuts that come up through the factory uh, brace bracket there of the A arm. So I'm going to tighten these up and uh, then we'll head to the back and do the back ones. We'll be back. You might need light. Alright, so now that bolt goes up through there. Right in front of the shaw. With a nut. These are the back A arms guards. Since Sterling didn't say what he was even doing. Oh. <clears throat> so there's four holes in the back A arm guards, but we're actually only using three of the holes because the one hole that's in the plate, you would actually have to drill a hole right here in the A arm itself. So we don't need to do that because this bolt right here will hold the whole front on, so we're good there. <clears throat> and then there's two back here. Oops. Turn the light back on for you guys. And, that. and we didn't have to take off the plastic piece that you're seeing right there that comes with factory. So we should be good there. So we're just going to get these three bolts in and we'll be back. <clears throat> so we finished all the A-arm guards, so here's the back piece. So it all fits in there pretty nicely. And we got the other side. So now that all four A-arm guards are done, we are going to move to doing the Polaris Blue Profile Rock Sliders. We just got black, so we're gonna mount those guys and they'll cover that section. So we're gonna get these tools to put away and we'll get the rock slider set up and we'll be back for that.
guys, so we're back. We moved the razor to the other part of the garage. So we got our low profile rock sliders from Polaris. We just got the black ones to match. These are the same set that we run on our uh, bootlegger edition, but in red. So we're just gonna get these installed. So Sterling already put the bolts in. So they go in the little holes, and then they just have the back pieces right there. So when you bolt them down and you tighten them, they expand, and then they would sit right into the factory holes in the frame. So there's one there. There's one right there, and one right there. So we're going to get these mounted up. So pretty much you just lift them up, and you just line them up with the holes. And if it works correctly, they just bolt right into the frame that way. Sometimes you need to finagle them to get them into the holes and to sit flat. Oh. So we're going to get these mounted and we'll be back. Okay, so we're just finishing up tightening down the three sets of bolts. Sure, they're snug in there. So pretty much this is what it looks like. Another reason why we decided to go with these because they wrap around on the bottom. Sterling, can you show you what it looks like? Right here, this lip here, it folds over the the plastic and and then uh, helps protect the the main frame from getting damaged. rock sliders so we did the driver side we also did do the passenger side prior to this so this is what the passenger side looks like same thing we do like the tree kickers the ones that come out but the only thing that we don't like about those they don't protect the undercarriage part of it, so that's why we go with the low profiles. But overall, that's pretty much what it's going to look like. So we did the skid plates, the AM guards, and now the rock sliders. So overall, it wasn't too bad of an installation. Definitely takes some time. So we're going to end that video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the installation of those three items. I'll list all the parts that we used um, in the description below. So just stay tuned for the next video. Um, not sure what we're going to install next, but just keep a lookout. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, thanks for checking it out. Please like, subscribe, and share. If you're returning, Thanks for coming back and watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed um, watching it. Hopefully it was educational. But overall, it wasn't too bad. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.